Hi guys, today we are making old fashioned apple butter in the crock pot. It is so banging. All right, we're gonna start with a variety of apples. I like to use a variety of sweet and tart apples. All right, now we're just gonna peel the apples just like so. And oh, do not look at those nails, honey. I need a filling, my God. Oh, awful. All right, so just peel the apples. Okay, just like that, we have all the apples peeled. Now we're gonna core the apples. I highly, highly, highly suggest getting one of these nifty little tools here, apple core tool things. Walmart, $9, get one. All right, so we wanna core all these apples. And now I'm gonna dice them up. You don't have to do it, but I like to dice up my apples. Don't have to be cute. All right, now into the crock pot it goes. Pile them on in there, hun. It's gonna be really, really high, but once they cook down, the lid will close, so. Okay, now we're gonna cook it on high for three to four hours, stirring occasionally. And here's how it looks after three to four hours, like chunky applesauce. Yours may look a little different. Yummy. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my sugars. Now this is a lots of sugar, honey, but this is apple butter. It's like a spray, you know, like jam or jelly. It needs sugar to be the bomb, all right? Okay, so add your sugar in there, and there's my cinnamon going in. And also I have a little bit of clove and nutmeg. I'm gonna toss in there as well. Now I'm gonna stir it up until everything is combined, just like that. Now you can can this apple butter, you can freeze it, um, you can store it in the fridge for um, a few weeks. I like to can mine though. Okay, so now we're gonna cook this on low for 20 hours, stirring occasionally. And we're gonna remove the lid for the last two hours just to get it to kinda cook down some. And here it is after 12 hours of cooking. It's starting to reduce, it's starting to get a little bit thicker. Okay, and here it is when it's done. You see how thick that is? It's thick, it's the perfect consistency for apple butter. Apple butter should not look like applesauce, okay? It should be thick and spreadable. And here's how you tell if it's done. Take a nice big spoonful. If it slides off the spoon, it's not done. It should stay thick on the spoon, just like that. Okay, now it's ready to be spread on your bagels, your toast, your biscuits. It is so good and so worth the wait. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.